Welcome to part 2 of our journey to Andalusia. In the previous video we showed you Malaga, a lovely city with a stunning view at the southern coast of Spain, and Cordoba, a historical town with its unique Islamic architecture. Today let's continue our exploration of Andalusia, starting in Cordoba. Oleg and I are going to discuss relationships between men and women and what role masculinity plays in it. Oleg, 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 we are here in Cordoba. We've seen quite a lot already. And now we are chilling by a supermarket because it's too hot. It feels like, well, it doesn't feel, it feels like a lot, but it's 34 or 37 degrees. Oleg, what do you think is important in a healthy relationship? Obviously healthy, because that's what we presume to talk about. It is important for a man to not to over pursue his woman. Did you hear it, guys? Do you agree or not agree? Oleg, can you elaborate? What do you mean by that? What I mean is that after a man has expressed his interest and after the courting is done and after a woman is in love with her man and they hopefully in love with each other, that's the healthy relationship anyway, then that's where man should stop pursuing. So you're saying man should pursue because that's his instinct but he just shouldn't overdo it because you have to have a healthy amount of attraction and then repulsion to keep the relationship vibrant and exciting instead of making attraction some kind of glue where you really crave the, the confirmation all the time which is then not independence and reliance. is the right way the right way is to court your woman never stop dating her but once you are in love with each other then a man must focus on his purpose and his goals but chasing a woman non-stop on daily basis or especially if she pulls back is only gonna make things worse and will make her want to pull back even more i.e it all goes back to the fact that we must love people in we must love in a way that the person feels free okay so what i take from it is pursue show your interest but also have a, another life uh, which makes you occupied also with your hobbies interests and passions so that you make yourself even more attractive by also having your own life because there's time for everything Cordoba has a beautiful range of patios, which are peaceful courtyards filled with gorgeous vegetation and fountains, a perfect place to take a break. After Cordoba, we returned to Malaga and took a break for an entire day, reflecting and relaxing on the beach. of Malaga and we feel like we need to talk about something with you guys about relationship between men and women Alex is reading a book can you introduce us to the book and say what is the main message from the book one of the main messages because we don't have all the time of the world and this video is getting too long <laughs> so the book is called men are from Mars and women are from Venus and one of the main ideas in there is that men often get unable to listen and women just often need for men to listen without offering advice but men jump very fast put their fix it cap on and start offering advice which invalidates her feelings men need to get in the habit of when having a conversation with the woman and when she comes to him to talk about something 
he should ask, do you want me to listen or to give advice? That's it. Okay. So you see, gentlemen, hopefully you agree with it. If not, go your own way. Find out your, your own truth. I hope you found this helpful. So again, it's not everything about just being logical in a relationship. Sometimes people just need to listen and show compassion and to show the other person that you are there for them. And this is, I think, the main point when discussing the relationship between men and women. Like straight men and women, obviously, mm. that's what we are talking about here. I want to add that it's to be able to listen without the intent to reply, just to listen. Spontaneously we decided to jump on a boat to be taken away onto the sea while enjoying the DJ playing the music. But you do dancing, right? I'll be the judge. Wait, I'm not because you don't know, but he, he dances. Okay. Yeah. We spend the evening on the boat, watching the sunset in the middle of the sea, overlooking the gorgeous coastline of Spain. It was one of those rare and special moments when I felt really free, outside of any daily concerns and worries. That's why I love traveling. It inspires you, it recalibrates you, and it lets you soak in new impulses of creativity and beauty. Now it was time to visit Seville, another amazing city two hours away northwest of Malaga. Okay, can you tell me what's your favorite place in uh, My favorite place was Sevilla. the cathedral that we just went to. And we are now at lunch. And now we are in the courtyard. Seville is gorgeous. It has a stunning cathedral and wonderful Islamic Alcazar courtyards. With huge gardens in which you can lose yourself for an hour or two. I don't know. It looks good or not. Plaza de España, a landmark square with a large water fountain, seas with painted ceramic tiles and an ornate pavilion. We really needed to rush through Seville as we were running out of time and it took a while to get from the city center to central station. However, I'm happy that this memorable square was our last stop to hang out at. Enjoy the experience and gain some insights and food for thought. Now, there is no other way than to smash the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.